Hey Pine Wizards, I hope you've been doing great. And today in this video, I want to talk about some of the statistical functions that are available in PineScript. Now, these functions will be very helpful whenever you're conducting fundamental analysis for any stock or technical analysis for any currency pair or any crypto pair. So first of all, the function that we're gonna talk about is how you can take an average of an array. And in order to do that, let's go ahead and define our indicator. So our indicator is going to be called title. I'm going to give it a title of average arrays function. So let me just go ahead, average arrays function. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the overlay to be true because we want the indicator to plot on top of our existing chart. And after that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to define our array. Now the array that we're going to define will be started with var because this will make sure that from the very first bar from the history we are passing on to the uh, on the values inside that array so let me just go ahead and define the array first and then i'm going to explain it so our array is going to be called high low range okay and then array dot new And we're gonna give a float array, okay? Float. So now our array is a float array, and in this array, we're gonna pass on the value of high minus low for each bar. And the high minus low value, as you can see here, this is the current bar, okay? So in this current bar, you can see that this is the high and this is low. Now we're gonna pass on the value of high minus low or the range. Of each bar from the first, very first bar in the history inside this array and this VAR will make sure that and in order to put the values inside the array we're gonna use array dot push function and this function makes sure that our array gets the value we want to pass on and the ID of our array is high minus high low range and the value that we're gonna pass on is high minus low now as i was saying that high minus low or the range of each candle is going to be saved inside this array and what we want to do is ideally we want to see what is the average of the ranges of these bars from the start okay so from the very beginning from the first bar in the history till this bar we want to calculate the average of those ranges now if i just go ahead and Try to plot the average. I'm gonna use bar state is confirmed history. Bar state is confirmed history. Okay. And then I'm gonna define a new label. So label dot new. And inside this label, the x is going to be the bar index or the index of the current bar. So this is the bar index. This is the latest bar, so we want to plot this label on top of this bar. So we're going to give it the index or x value of bar index, okay? And the y value that we want to give this label is the close of the candle. So we're going to give it the close as y. And then the next thing we're going to define is what style do, do we want for our label and the style is going to be label style left so label dot label style left we want to use this style and after that we're going to give it a color color is equal to color dot red and the text color is going to be white. so text color let me just select this is going to be color dot white okay now after that this is important so the size is going to be large because we want to be able to see our result or our label containing the average of this array very visibly so the size is going to be size dot large and after that, let me just go towards the next line. So 
the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give it the text now this text will be what we want to plot inside this label and the text is going to be every high minus low range will be power slash n so this will make sure that it puts the next line or it creates a uh, one line space and after that i want to concatenate str to string and here now we're going to calculate the average of this array that we have defined above so we're going to say array dot average and using this function we only have to pass on the id of the array that we want to take average of so the id in this case is high minus high low range so and at the end we're going to define what format do we want to use for our array okay so first of all let me just go here and after that we're going to define the format that we want to plot the arrays now as you can see that there are five decimal places after the float so we want to make sure that we get this correctly according to the label that we're using in my next videos i'm gonna show you how you can automatically format to whatever currency pair or stock or crypto pair you're trading on but in this case here since we are on your aud so we're gonna give it a format of 0 0.00 until five decimal places because after the float there are five numbers so this is how we want our result to look like now let's go ahead and save this and see how this gets executed so our function is going to be called arrays function and average arrays function and let's plot this okay so we got an error and the error is that we did not put a comma inside here so now let me just go ahead and add this to chart to display the average of all the bars so from here we can see that our label has plotted the high minus low range for all the historical bars and the average is 0 0.00164 so this is how you can execute the array average function inside your statistical analysis or fundamental analysis whichever you're performing i hope you were able to understand arrays average function and array average function only takes one argument and that argument is the id of the array that we want to calculate the average of so this is how it works i hope you liked this video if you have any questions please comment down below i would love to answer them also don't forget to like share and subscribe see you guys in the next video thank you